Hello everyone. Um, today I have a video uh, about um, new parts for the uh, big 3D printer. I bought um, a lot of uh, stuff to do the carriage, the X and the Y carriage. Uh, also for the frame and um, and other things uh, I'm going to show you uh, right away uh, some of this uh, this stuff is from open build uh, I found it on Aliexpress with a, uh, a good price and discount so um, I wanted to add to the uh, printer um, since they have so many options to mount uh, different uh, different brackets and uh, the motors and so on so different way how to mount it so uh, the option are endless basically so let me start with the here aluminum brackets um, I had already one of this and I bought a, another three these ones uh, are most likely to be used uh, on the X on the X or Y I need to figure out uh, the best uh, way to mount the um, the linear guides um, using this guys uh, also uh, on the uh, Z axis um, I have if you see the video where I set up uh, the printer I designed the printer the Z axis is like a CNC machine so that is one block so I don't have I don't need to um, have linear guides or other things because it's already there uh, like wheels so these are our ones then I put uh, four of this uh, square one these are pretty big uh, so I have four of these guys I'm going to put the links of all these parts uh, in the description so if somebody is interested in uh, checking them out uh, also I got this guys these are for mounting Emma 23 in different ways um, so since I'm trying to figure out if I need two motors on the Y axis or just one and also on the X axis on the Z axis I have only one motor and I don't need any mount so I have I bought different uh, different type of mount I have two each uh, also I have this L bracket uh, for the frame of the 3D printer so the big frame I have one per each corner so four total uh, what else um, I bought a bunch of uh, uh, screws uh, oh no, actually, this is our for uh, this this mount here, and these are for uh, reinforcing uh, the corners on the structure of the 3D printer. So they come with the with the screws and the, with even uh, uh, an L driver. Okay, cool, good. So this one, how many have that? Uh, uh, 12 I think, 2, 4, 6, so yeah, 12, 12 of this, let me put it on the side, uh, this small, this small uh, bracket, L bracket, uh, these are always useful, they're very small and light, so I'll be using this in various section probably to mount the lasers. Uh, check out my video about the lasers and the idea behind it it's going to be interesting to test it uh, more screws here for the uh, these are uh, M5 I think this is for the uh, the aluminum, aluminum profiles here more screws Oh, these are very long screws. 
I figure out that I will need some very long screws to mount to the Z axis to the X axis somehow. So I bought different sizes of screws. Uh, some more screws and five. Okay, not interesting. Uh, I'll uh, brackets uh, screws so that I can reinforce again the aluminum profile. Uh, I bought uh, wheels and this I need to figure out if the better it's going to be better wheels or linear rails. Linear rails are always better but my 3D printer is huge so I might have uh, on the Y axis I have already a linear guides um, while on the X axis um, I need to figure out if I have the option of linear guides but I don't want to make it too heavy so the, those linear guides if you use it uh, are very heavy my X axis is 800 millimeter between yeah 800 so a linear guide is 800 millimeter plus the uh, rails and stuff is very heavy so this one is a an option to see if if the uh, if the z axis plus the extruder is not too heavy this might work uh, these are with rubber maybe are good enough or maybe i'll need the the one with the metal we'll see what else more screws whatever this is not interesting uh, okay, here, here I bought, uh, can you see, yeah, two uh, nozzle, and these guys are titanium nozzles, here. Now I have to modify these guys because I think it's a 0 0.4 or 0 0.6, and here are for, uh, 1.75 filament so I will need to increase the sizing the hole here and increase this one to 1 or 1.2 or 1.5 millimeter uh, we'll see how it works I wanted to test uh, titanium compared to uh, the steel and steel that I have nice box little box so more screws, more screws here. Then I put a clamp. This one will help me to do a bunch of work on the on the here, bunch of work on the uh, wiring. It's going to be a lot of wiring, so I, it's better to have these tools. They're not too cheap. I think it was like twenty bucks maybe. And I bought uh, with four different. Uh, you can modify the head here, and you have four different uh, heads, let's say, for different uh, uh, clips and clamps, wiring clamps and stuff. So, got this guy. What else? Uh, yeah. Oh, here. This, this is an accelerometer. I checked that on Clipper. Uh, there's an option, I forget the name of it. So you basically put this accelerometer on the extruder and while uh, the extruder moves, uh, you know, up and down, left and right, up and down, uh, uh, it, it gives feedback to Clipper to adjust uh, certain parameters so I want to uh, figure out this option uh, I was reading it and this is pretty cheap so an accelerometer is always good to have if you do other things uh, okay that's it then I had this I bought this uh, this solution for screwdrivers uh, a box 
I have uh, 135 different uh, uh, option. You know, here. I think I think it was 18 bucks, so it's much cheaper than usual. I got lucky, I guess. I'm going to put all the links uh, in the description if you're interested. Here. Uh, so if you do any type of work, not really directly related to the 3D printer, but it's good to have. And then the the main the main thing I was looking for here. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. If well, this card came with the B3 Tech uh, drivers, new drivers uh, here. And these drivers are the 5160 Pro. I always like the BB3 Tech boxes. Experience to open it is pretty cool. And each one, of this driver, comes in with a little plastic box. And they already have installed the uh, heat sink. Okay. So. Uh, well, I'll, I'll test it on the on the Manta M8 uh, board. I will do another video. Uh, I cannot uh, hook it up uh, to to the power supply yet, but I can see if I use the USB connection that I did last time on the last video. Uh, see if they give me some feedback errors or something maybe the configuration has problems so I can uh, figure out the right configuration so to practice and to uh, gain knowledge about the configuration file so I bought six of these guys uh, because I wasn't sure if I have on the Y and the X axis uh, two, uh, two motor H so in total we'll have uh, let's see maximum I have uh, one on the X axis and on the Z axis two motors for the extruders because it's dual extruders pallet extruders and then I have to figure out if X has only one motor and Y has one or two motors um, We'll see. I have to test that. I have other drivers, so if I need to, I can uh, use other drivers too. Uh, all the ones. Okay. These are SPI, I think, in the connection. So I have to figure out on the Manta board uh, how to change the uh, the pins, the jumpers. So I have six of these guys. Uh, so I'll put the links uh, on on the description uh, so you can figure out uh, I think these are expensive I think it was like uh, 20 bucks let me check a second because I think we're very expensive okay uh, here the order I paid total for six hundred and twenty two dollars so it's freaking expensive yeah 22 bucks each crazy but uh, we're more expensive so Let, let's see I hope everything works and then what else I had uh, some other uh, oh here so let me put away this guy this mold clamps these guys are for if you saw the video where I show how I'm planning to heat the bed with the uh, ultra uh, infrared uh, uh, film these ones are the clamps that you attach to the sides left and right sides where AC input go so I'm planning to drive this guy the bed the uh, infrared with AC with the uh, relay uh, connected uh, via uh, DC to the uh, to the Manta board, probably through a MOSFET. 
I have to... It's the same idea as the... Okay, I'm back. I guess my camera decided to stop filming. Good. So, that's the last uh, one I had. Let me check. I got this, I got that, that. Yeah. Oh no, I, I bought a power supply. But that's the interesting. It's a 1200 watts power supply. I got a deal for like 60 bucks and it was like double. So, uh, always good to have more power uh, available. And that's it. So, I'll, I'll uh, put some links about this stuff uh, down in the description and uh, I'll, I'll uh, post a new video about the motherboard with the drivers and figure out the, the configuration if there are any issues if I can uh, have a feedback from the Clipper about the configuration because I'm studying now I'm studying Clipper and uh, trying to figure out all the details and the best way to configure my 3D printer with the with the Z axis as well, uh, one motor and the Y maybe two and the X maybe two, one or two. We'll see. So uh, please put a like, leave a like, uh, share this video, uh, subscribe to the channel please and uh, leave a comment if you have any, if you have any questions and I'll see you on next video. Bye bye.